Of the various character classes you run into in traditional fantasy settings, I have a bit of a soft spot for healers, or white mages, for no reason in particular. A while back, we talked about the odd tendency for healers in fantasy to use giant hammers, which is a bit silly. Most creators seem to think so as well, since to be fair, it's probably more common to show healers using something much more sensible, like a stick, or a staff if you prefer. But have you ever wondered about why healer staffs look the way they do? Today's question then, what's the deal with healer staffs? Short answer, it's called a Crusier. So what's a Crusier? Okay, now that's going to need a longer answer. First though, what do I mean by healer staff? In fantasy work, magic users tend to be given staffs for fairly obvious reasons. <laughs> Gandalf did it. Seems to me though that there tends to be a pattern for the sort of staffs that healers use. Imagine a healer staff. Chances are you pictured something like this a fairly straight stick with a bendy bit that hooks around at one end. A bit like a question mark with varying degrees of fanciness. So, why this shape? One thing to remember is that healer characters tend to be modelled on medieval holy orders, specifically the Christian clergy, and high-ranking clergymen, generally bishops and up, do sometimes carry around the staff that looks like this. Take away the twiddle and the general shape is, more or less, a healer's staff. And yes, it's called a chrysia. So what's a crusier? In short, it's a fancy version of a shepherd's crook. The basic idea is that the bishop is like a shepherd for the people, an idea that Christians would be very familiar with. Reading from John 10, 14 to 15, I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the father knows me, and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Now, this sort of imagery is mostly associated with Christianity, but the symbolism is fairly common, and it goes way, way back. In the ancient Greek Iliad, for example, it isn't uncommon for characters to be referred to as so-and-so, shepherd of the people. Incidentally, the title is used for Achilles, Hector, and Agamemnon, who are arguably the most important characters in the story, being the best warriors and leaders of the Greeks and Trojans. Even further back, the ancient Egyptians had something similar, with the image of the crook and flail, seen here being held by King Tut, being symbols of the pharaoh's authority and relationship to the god Osiris. What we see then is a long tradition of associating leaders, spiritual, military, political, or some mix of the above with shepherds, and the symbol for this is the humble shepherd's crook. One last question then, why are shepherd's crooks shaped like that? Simple, it's a really practical shape. A big stick is always handy when you're wandering about outdoors, and the hook you can use it for all sorts of useful things, like pulling plants out of the way, or whacking bandits. Most importantly, the hook lets the shepherd direct and control his sheep, even physically pulling them away from danger. Now the symbolism makes more sense. The crook, and later the crusier, is a tool for people who take care of others, and who help those who can't help themselves. Good qualities for a leader to have, and also good qualities for a healer, even if some of the symbology has been lost along the way. So there you have it. A healer's staff tends to be that shape because it's based on a crusier, and ultimately a shepherd's crook. Healers, when you think about it, are a bit like shepherds, caring for people and looking after those who can't help themselves. Oddly enough, the crook is also a symbol of leadership, which isn't something that fantasy settings explore that often. You don't really see the healer as a leader for the party, which is something of a pity. But whether they know it or not, healers carry around a great tool for helping the people who need them, or you know, for hitting people, if they really have to.